Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the tied pool stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a very easy stitch to work. It's a one row repeat once you get it going and uh, the texture is the same on both sides. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a 5mm crochet hook as well as a worsted weight cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand and links to both of these are in the description of this video. Also in the description you'll find the direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials such as this one. Our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot. And for this stitch, you can chain any even number of stitches. So any multiple of two, today I'm just going to chain 20. Once you have an even number of chain stitches for your foundation chain, you're going to start by working a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook. Your starting chain does not count as a stitch. So half double crochet into that second chain from your hook and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work the stitches that are going to form the texture of the stitch. And again, it's very simple. All we're going to be doing is alternating front uh, and back loop only half double crochet stitches. So if you're looking at the top of your stitch, you have a loop that is closest to you and a loop that is further away. The one that's further away is your back loop only and the one that's closest to you is your front loop only. So to begin, for the first stitch, we're going to work a half double crochet in the back loop only of the first stitch. We're then going to work a half double crochet in the front loop only of the next stitch. Now repeat that all the way across half double crochet worked in the back loop only of the next stitch and half double crochet in the front loop only of the next stitch and you're going to repeat that all the way across finishing off with a half double crochet in your back loop only. At the end of row two, you've worked your final stitch in your back loop only. You're going to chain one and turn your work. Now all you're going to do for the pattern is simply repeat your row two. So half double crochet into the back loop only of the first stitch and half double crochet in the front loop only of the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across, chain one and repeat. That's all there is to working this tide pool stitch. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. Again, don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.